Ayo. What is up people, welcome back to an episode of MQ Fish and I'm glad to see you guys here back here in this channel again and of course apologies for my short absence, been really busy lately but nevertheless today's episode is going to be much more of a chill session unlike my previous episodes where we are always hunting for particular species or decent sized fishes it's going to be like a trip out with my friends out to the southern waters with our captain Maremio which we actually rented a yacht for like I think 4 hours today's episode is just to introduce my friends uh, into fish Fishing, and the goal of the day was to get them to land at least one fish. Okay, so I'm not gonna hold you guys back, so I shall see you guys in the session. Today, we are headed towards Sentosa Cove for our yacht session. And of course, before we start, we need to do the most important thing. One can enough or not? I don't really. Okay, can. Okay. Usually it comes in the one dollar pack, right? Yes. Okay, guys, one, two, three. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, what? can you like tell the guys uh, what's the best brand of sunblock? Decathlon, I think this is like $10 or something. <laughs> it was found by surprise. I swear by it. Use it, confirm one burn one, 100%. The same color, more effective. $22, <laughs> this is SPF 50 plus. 50 plus also. <laughs> Korean made. Hey, this is a roll on, easy this application. <laughs> non sticky. <laughs> <laughs> What you want to do now is Okay, uh -huh. this is the bill, huh? Yeah Okay, so you know the basic rice? Yeah Okay What we're going to use is the SGFR multi-species Just a little info on the rig we are going to use today The SGFR multi-species double hunter It is basically a pre-tied two hooks Apollo rig with size 6 hooks to target coral fishes Tie this end to the sinker Put baits on both hooks and attach the swivel to your main line. Alright, so let's get back to the video. So we got like a prawn and a octopus on the hooks with weight, with weight which I can't remember how heavy it is. So this style of fishing, right? Yeah. You're actually gonna like uh, play at the bottom. Okay. So we're targeting like coral fishes. Right. Okay, now you can drop the line. I draw a line, just yeah. drop it. Drop the line, yes. <laughs> Okay, oh. then you observe the line. Okay. Once it starts to stop, right, means you are already at the bottom, you can close your bill. Okay. Right, there, like okay, okay, you can close your bill. Keep your rod up Keep. and down. Yeah. Do you feel the weight at the bottom? Yeah, yeah. So what you're gonna do now, right? You are gonna bounce through the bottom. Okay. Yeah, so you like just bounce. Yeah, slowly. So <laughs> if there are fishes down there, the coral fishes, you will actually bite your, oh. your bait. When you survey it, you will vibrate, then you can feel. But I can feel something on the line. Ah, you try, you try. Why are so tired? Oh my god. Oh my god. There is a, there is a. Yeah, I got something. Go, go, go. Real, 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 real. Oh, there is. Arumugam. Oh, yeah, shit. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah, aru chocolate hein. They call it arumugam. And Sarah caught her first fish for the day. Before she could even take a picture with it, the captain released her catch. But she landed a bigger butterfly whip tail immediately after that. My phone nearer to the camera so it looks big. Yeah. <laughs> yes! You're very greedy le! Yo, your mouth's so full! Okay, how do I? How do I? I'm so <laughs> Alright! Yay. And so did Marcus. <laughs> Can you tell me their names? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can't want it. Yeah, I can't want any can too. <laughs> this is Billy. This is, that one is Bobby. The butterfly whiptail, 
also known as coral bream, the butterfly whiptail has an excellent eyesight and are usually found close to the bottom looking for prey with a stop start movement. You gonna release it? I'm very scared when they bobble. You hold the body. Oh, I right? Yeah. I'm very scared. Okay, try, try. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, okay. Good job, good job, good job. That's like uh, three for Marcus, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ooh, ooh. I got a fish. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, I, I, I think over oh, there it is. There is. It's a small one. <laughs> It's the same one lah. Fish. Hey, it's really a... Really are you so tiny? Yeah. I need a bigger one. Okay, yeah. it's gonna release this fella. Back into the water. Sarah, you want to try? I think this spot works. Yeah. Here, here it's easier for you to know the line stop at the bottom. Oh yes. Yeah, because there's no current, I think. One yeah. They, yeah, they just bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh yeah, left hand. Oh, you're not used to it, is it? As in, I'm right-handed, but I really. Oh, oh. Okay. Is, it, is there vibration still? It feels big, eh? There's a drag. Baby, baby. I think it's probably the same fish. Oh, Whoa, it's a big one! <laughs> Parrot fish, come. Yeah. Okay, now. Okay, uh, oh, you open? That's really some line. Okay, then it's close. Oh, no, oh. My bad. It wasn't a parrot fish, but an anchor task fish. Usually mistaken for a parrot fish, but you can tell the difference by looking at its teeth. A parrot fish has a beak, while an anchor task fish has sharp teeth, and they use them to feed mainly on hard shell prey, including crustaceans, mollusks, and sea urchins. So we're trying to get Chinta to catch a fish there. Yes. <laughs> Chinta, come on, man. And all the pressure is on Chinta and Kimberly to see if they can land at least one fish today. No! no. Nothing! Oh man! Come, come, come. come, come. Put more, put, more bits. Put more okay. Let's go. Biggest fish, Lee. Biggest. Yeah. The rest were all like Arumuga. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Heavy, ah. Oh, it's a rock. It's a rock. Oh, Is it still there? I don't know. Okay, keep reeling. Keep reeling. No. Oh, no. oh man. Hey. Oh, no. Just let me! So many, so many! 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 Bouncing. I just like, Woo! Commonly referred to as Sergeant Major as it exhibits five black bars resembling the insignia of said rank in the military services. A male Sergeant Major exhibits a dark blue to dark grey background tonality during the breeding season. Sergeant Major, a very interesting choice of name for a fish. I seriously want to find out who gave that fish the name Sergeant Major. Chinto, you got a Spanish flag. Wow. Hey, so how oh. right, very nice. Yeah. Good job, Chinto. Turn around. Good job, man. Good job, guys. Okay, point, push the fish forward. All right. Chinto, your first fish, how do you feel? Good. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Yeah. But thanks for the bait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just jump la. Oh, you like BIT le, bro. <laughs> Thank you.
guys thank you so much for hanging towards the end of the video really appreciate your time and as always your effort to actually watch all the video from the start to the end and of course thank you to captain marimio for bringing us around the southern waters no doubt the weather was quite awful that day i would say there are times where it actually drizzled there are times it became so gloomy there are times where the water was really really choppy but nevertheless all of us managed to catch one fish each and that was the goal and of course you guys actually saw like new fishes in the channel like the sergeant major spanish flag and butterfly whip and really i hope you guys enjoyed the fishing as well and i would love to poison them even further and introduce them to luring perhaps freshwater or kayak fishing or even boat fishing and of course guys do look forward to upcoming videos I actually have a few videos um, on hand which i was supposed to edit more kayak sessions and also i do have like uh, more saltwater sessions and guys for those of you who have yet to subscribe to the channel it will be of great support if you could just click the subscribe button and the bell icon and i shall see you guys in the next one stay safe stay healthy fish responsibly tie lines everyone